it's maths time again well children in the previous class i had taught you how to use the lesser than greater than and equal to sign today we are going to do it with a big number and we are going to use the same way you remember the crocodile story i had told you yes the crocodile always loves to eat the big fish and wherever we have the bigger number the crocodile will always open its jaw and wherever the number is the smaller number the jaw will be kept closed and if we have two equal numbers what do we do yes we put the equal to sign so therefore children we are going to use the same story again to do our work but only this time we are going to take a number which is a little bigger than what you have done previously okay let's go on one fine morning i met mr croc sitting on a rock he was very sad i said to him hello mr croc how do you do he didn't reply Then I said, "Are you hungry?" "Yeah," said the croc. "I wish to have a big fish." So we planned to go out fishing together. Mr. Croc is going to help us find the bigger number because you know he loves to eat. only the big fish we can see two fishes on our screen one shows seven the other shows 20 now children if i compare to the two numbers then i see that i have nothing in the tens house but seven in the ones house for the other one I have two in the tens house and zero in the ones house. So can you tell me which one is a bigger number, seven or twenty? Oh, there comes Mr. Croc. He has caught the big fish. Twenty is the bigger number. So children. The jaw of the crocodile will open towards twenty, as twenty is a bigger number. So, seven less than twenty. We put the lesser than sign. Now we have the two numbers, forty-six and thirty-one. In forty-six, I have four in the tens house, and in Thirty-one. I have three in the tens house, so four is greater than three. So we can say forty-six is greater than thirty-one. Well, well, there comes Mr. Croc. He catches the bigger fish. When, as forty-six is greater than 31 we will put the greater than sign over here next we have 33 and 33 and you can understand children that they are equal and therefore we put the equal to sign in the middle Mr. Croc is unable to decide. Oh no, he goes under the water. Now children, I give you two numbers. 26 and 50. Can you tell me what sign will you put in the middle there? Well done. 50 is greater than 26 because I have five in the tens house for fifty, and two in the tens house for twenty-six. 
as 5 is greater than 2, so 50 is greater than 26. Let's go for the next one. 44 and 44. Well, that is easy. 44 is equal to 44. So, we will put the equal to sign over here in the middle. Now, I give you two numbers. 27 and 29. Oh no, there is 2 in the tens house for 27 and there is 2 in the tens house for 29. What should I do? Well, compare the next number in the ones house. In 27, I have 7 in the ones house and in 29, I have 9 in the ones house. As 9 is greater than 7, then 29 is greater than 27. This wrong children is called quick quack means you have to say very fast. Mr. Croc is wishing you luck. Let's begin the first one. 49, 11. Check. 4 in the tens house, 1 in the tens house. 4 greater than 1. So 49 greater than 11. Now the next one. 22, 33. Check. 2 in the tens house for 22. 3 in the tens house for 33. 3 greater than 2. Or 2 less than 3. So, 22 lesser than 33. Third sum. 40, 43. Check. 4 in tens house. Again, 4 in tens house. So, we move to the ones house now. 0 in ones house for 40. 3 in one's house for 43. 3 greater than 0. So 43 greater than 40. And there goes the easy one. 50 and 50. They are equal. And so I put the equal to sign in the middle. Mr. Croc says goodbye and reminds you do not forget to do your worksheet children. Stay happy and healthy.